Today on Two Crazy Ketos, we're gonna drink some pickle juice. Ew, why? Why are we doing this? Actually, we're gonna review pickle ice. Okay, let's try it right, right after, after this. this. Hey, what's up, family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. Ketos. If you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like recipe videos, we do product reviews, we talk about various keto topics, and then every Monday, we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us on different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we also have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com, and that's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now, we do upload at least five new videos every single week, so make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon icon and that way every single time we upload a new video you'll be alerted to it yeah so I am like can't stop my face from being all like squinchy because we're about to eat pickle juice well we got this it's called pickle ice and we got this in I don't know if it was our keto crate or our keto box I want to say it was the keto crate it was one of them it was one of them and I, I don't get it I know a lot of people like to drink pickle juice for electrolytes, I personally don't think it's like that great of an electrolyte supplement because there's not a lot of electrolytes in it. I did a lot of weird things when I was pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> Feels like the pregnant lady diet. Well, before this thing melts, let's let's talk about this. So this is Van Holten's Pickle Ice. Van Holten. It actually says on the front, proudly supports the Boys and Girls Clubs of America. Oh, well that's nice. Refresh, rehydrate, electrolyte enhanced pickle juice. Oh, so they've added some stuff to it. Yep. So on the back it says electrolyte enhanced, no sugar, no calories, fat free, gluten free, made in the United States. Drink this frozen or unfrozen. Ugh. Okay. <laughs> Zero calories. There's a serving size is one tube. I would hope it's one tube. Eat five of these. Two ounces per serving. Zero calories per serving. Zero fat. Zero protein. One gram of carbohydrates. And it has, because we are talking about electrolytes, 300 milligrams of sodium, 20 milligrams of calcium, 8 milligrams of magnesium, 70 milligrams of potassium. So how does that like go up against like an Ultima or a Zip Fizz? Ultima is about 250 milligrams of potassium. Zip Fizz is like 900 if I remember right. Okay. Now you got to remember like coming like potassium, you need about 4,000 to 4,500 milligrams a day of potassium, especially on keto. So this is giving you 70. You're not even putting a dent in that. <laughs> All I want to do is buy a whole big box of these and change them out for like like the flavor ice at a party, right? And like everybody think they're getting flavor ice and then The get one thing juice. I would say that it is giving you is giving you some sodium. It's got 300 milligrams of sodium in it and you know, you need about 3000 milligrams a day on keto. But, You're on your way. But again, like just salt your food, you get the same thing. What kind of sodium are they using? Is it pink Himalayan salt? Is it Redmond real salt or is it just iodized salt? Oh, cuz it's not telling you. It doesn't say. So, in the ingredients in this is water, vinegar, salt, glycerin, Calcium citrate, monopotassium phosphate, sodium benzate, natural flavoring, magnesium, or yeah, what is it magnesium citrate, guar gum, turmeric, and xanthan gum? What is the natural flavor of pickle juice? That's what I would like to know. What, what would that be? Are you ready for this? Because this is quickly melting. Ugh. So, couldn't you just do this by like using the leftover juice in your. Well, that's kind of what I was thinking. I was thinking we're going to do this and we're going to take a swig of this and see which one see tastes if it's better. Similar in taste. Okay. Well, that is like awfully lime green. I like it. But I'm, I'm expecting it. I'm afraid it. to do this. I'm expecting it to be like really green. That's such a whizzy. <laughs> I'm taking a bite. I'm all in. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I'll do that. Oh my gosh. <laughs> no, the only thing is, <laughs> it tastes like mustards in that. It tastes like the, <coughs> it tastes like you froze the top of what comes on like a McDonald's cheeseburger, right? I mean, I like pickles. I love pickles. Is there onions in that? Uh, I mean, there's a lot of vinegar in it, I'll tell you that much. I taste onions. I definitely taste the garlic. <laughs> That is like... We gotta do another bite. <laughs> this feels like Fear Factor a little bit. 
I'm thinking people, you can drink this and just like not freeze it. That is interesting. Where are we going to put this so it doesn't leak everywhere? We're just going to have to eat it. I would, no. <laughs> let me hold it. He's like, oh, let me put it on the camera equipment. Okay. So you did that. Wow. You're just going to swig some? I'd rather have that. And that's fresh pickle juice. They're both good. I mean, this is tasty. I just never thought about eating it. As an ice pop? As an ice pop. It's not It's not horrible. It's just, remember one time when we went to Aldi's back before keto, and we gotten cheese puffs, but they were peanut flavored. Right. And you ate them, and you're like, okay, yeah, it says, I taste peanut, and these are a, a, a cheese puff, but something's not right. Like, I'm not supposed to be eating it in this conveyance, and that's kind of what I feel like here. It's like... Yep, that's a pickle pop, but like, why? Why am I eating it like this? It's like, it's authentic, but I mean, it's interesting. It, it seriously, though, tastes like the mustard and onions frozen on top of like a McDonald's cheeseburger. My thing is this. It's, it's supposed to be pickle juice, and there's a lot of stuff added to it. Like mustard. I feel like mustard's in here No, somewhere. there's no mustard in it. It must be the turmeric. But I mean, there's turmeric in it. There's guar gum in it. I guess they're trying to thicken it up a little bit for making it freeze. They're adding the potassium and stuff. Clearly, they're adding some uh, food coloring. Yeah, it doesn't say it, it but why is it so fluorescent green? The I don't know if the camera's picking up how fluorescent green. It is like... Lime green. The natural flavors are like, a highlighter. Like, yeah, it really is. It's like a green highlighter color. I'm just eating it because it's, I mean, I like icy things, but. Not for me. You want to put this through our five things? Five things. Five things. So if you're new to our channel here on Two Crazy Ketos, we review all products based on five things. We talk about the ingredients. How does a keto based on a nutrition label? <laughs> Keep going back for more. How does it taste? <laughs> How much does it cost? And finally, would we recommend it? I keep going back to it, and I'm like, ew, nope, still bad, but like, can be going in there. Okay, so number one, the ingredients. Let's let's take a look at the ingredients here. Oh yeah, mixed with coffee, water, salt, vinegar. It's got glycerin added. Then then you have calcium. Citrate, monopotassium phosphate, sodium benzate, natural flavoring. See, I mean, you've got, you know, some extra, you know, like uh, electrolytes added in there. Who knows what natural flavoring is? Natural yeah. flavoring, you got to realize, it could be something really good, but it could also be really bad. So if there's a lot that, that gets covered over natural flavoring. We actually have a friend whose mom was just like diagnosed with like, um, it kind of like a form of celiac. And her doctor was like, don't eat anything with natural flavors in it. Like that's right. going to set you off. So there must be a lot of things that are kind of hidden in natural flavors. Yeah. Now, I mean, it's not everything that's natural no. flavoring is bad, but What's it covers. What's a natural flavor pickle? It covers a lot. You can't, you can't stop yourself. <laughs> <laughs> but my thing is, it's supposed to be pickle juice. Why are you? Why can't you just literally take this pickle juice and put it in a freezer pop? Why? Why are we adding more flavoring? You know what we need to do? It's, it's like an artificial pickle juice. Is really what it is. Is there something about it that won't freeze in a pickle juice that should? It's freeze? water. Yeah. So, okay. Okay. So I mean, the ingredients aren't super bad. I mean, they're adding guar gum. They're adding xanthan gum. I mean, that's like it's okay on keto, but not the greatest. I like that it tells that there's no sugar in that. But yeah. like, should there be? It's a dill pickle. <laughs> okay. So number two, does it keto based on a nutrition label? Yeah, I guess so. Zero yeah. fat, zero protein, one gram of carbohydrates. Yeah. You know. <laughs> I don't know if you want to spend your carb here, but. <laughs> <laughs> Number three, how does it taste? I'm going to let you take this one. If you thought to yourself when you eat a McDonald's cheeseburger, man, I wish they would freeze all these toppings. This is a snack for you. I, it seriously tastes like it's got mustard in it. Am I wrong? Taste it? Mustard and onions on top of a cheeseburger. It does taste like it has a little bit of mustard in it. Yeah. It definitely does. Which is weird. It is... Again, somebody who loves pickles, I don't know, we're, we're talking about, oh, I guess we are talking about taste, right? So, somebody who loves pickles, it is beyond the most sour pickle I've ever tasted. I mean, yeah. it is. It's got a lot of garlic. I mean, it's good. I think it tastes good. It's just odd. Okay, fine. It messes with you. Down the whole thing. Here we Let's go. Let's go. It's all juice. Drink it all. 
<laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. Still tastes good? Woo! My Mima knows. Wow. It tastes okay, but I don't know. Wow. Interesting. Okay, number four. How much does it cost? This is where it really gets interesting. So if you tell me this is like five dollars a stick, I'm like, well, they're it. sold on Amazon. There's a couple of different brands, but we're talking about pickle ice. There's another one called, I think, pickle pops, which I've ne we have never even looked at those. But this one here, they sell them on Amazon. So uh -huh. through the company on Amazon, you can buy two different ways. You can buy eight pops. Okay. For eight dollars and thirty eight cents. I feel like that's plenty. A dollar. So it's <laughs> plenty a, enough. A dollar a pop. Okay. So eight dollars and thirty eight cents or something like that. For, okay. So basically a dollar a pop, or you could buy forty eight of them. Stocking and, stuffers. Maybe? And if you buy forty eight of them, it's only eighteen dollars. So you go from a dollar a pop to what is that like thirty cents a pop? What? Well, then I guess that's the way to buy them. Right. I would get them as like gag gifts for Christmas. It would be a great stocking stuffer gag. Yeah, gift. <laughs> absolutely. Of course, if they leak, now all everything in that stocking smells like garlic and nonsense. It would be kind of funny if you could like rewrap them, like you said, and give them to your kids. <laughs> be like, oh, yeah. There you go. I thought you might like an icy to the. Oh man, oh, just the little kids. They can't read that it says pickle on it. Just give it to them. Be like, want a lime popsicle? <laughs> Want to be super disappointed? So I guess my thing, if if you're buying them in an eight pack, they're ridiculously expensive. But if you're buying them in the if you're buying, buying them the in the forty eight pack, yeah, it's not so bad. No, okay. it's a bargain. Mm. Oh my god! <laughs> so number five, Ugh. would we recommend this? <laughs> I mean, I guess if you're just like, I need to get my hands on some pickle pops. I, but I feel like I would just make my own. I don't know. I can't recommend this. I think it's silly. I just, I think this is like a gag. I don't know. It's just like a worthless product to have out there. It's, because <laughs> here's the thing. It's like, it's obviously, it's imitation pickle juice. I mean, they're basically just creating what's in this. So it's like, if you really like pickle juice, if you like pickle juice, obviously you're going to like pickles. Yeah, try those. So just go to the store and buy yourself some pickles, the refrigerated yeah, kind. The, Don't go buy like the plastic on the counter that's the got like all kind. kinds of chemicals. Go buy Bubbies. Those are super expensive, but super flavorful. Yeah. Eat all the pickles and then take the pickle juice and put it in the freezer pops. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I would still do it to like torture the kids. <laughs> Like, just fooling with it. I plan on doing that to Caleb and Anthony, like, maybe tonight. Make them think that they're getting fruit pops or something and be like, hey, look what I made. Oh, my gosh, I have to burp and I'm, like, afraid of it. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, I just I just really kind of think that this is silly. I mean, it's I mean, it's not super expensive. You want to try it, but it's it really does. It tastes like an imitation pickle juice. It doesn't taste like real pickle juice it makes me want to go get a mcdonald's cheeseburger that's what it makes me want to just throw the bun off but like yeah eat that well that is our video for today let us know down in the comment sections if you guys have tried these or any of the other pickle pops or if you've made some of your own things maybe you'd like what is that like gardenia mix maybe <laughs> maybe make some of those have you had any horseradish pickles <laughs> Yeah, so if you guys like what you saw, do us a favor and hit that like button down below. Maybe somebody's had a salsa pop. <laughs> Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the little bell icon. And that way, every single time I drink a quart of pickle juice, you'll be alerted to it. Until next time. Oh. Bye. I'm going to need some more.